You know, there's a uh, during World War Two, uh, you know, where Roosevelt came up with a thing uh, that uh, you know was totally different than a than the, the it's called he called it the you know the World War Two. He had the war the, the War Production Board. Six policy working groups, one on the economy, one on education, one on criminal justice. It should be reform, not punishment. One on immigration, climate change, and the economy. If you agree with me, go to Joe 30330. My name's Sita Gofard. I'm a senior at the college, um, and I'm the vice president of the student body here. Isn't that a bitch? I mean, that is a <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Buy a shotgun. That if I wanted to be president of the United States, I could be, I could be vice president. I never make any big, big gaps. I mean, you guys love saying that about me. But often his handsiness and comments... No, they see 30. ...are likened to those of a crazy but lovable uncle. But as they veer toward the more bizarre variety, it's raising questions about appropriate behavior for someone eyeing the White House. So earlier this week, Biden publicly used the term Shylocks in reference to aggressive money lenders. But it's a word considered anti-Semitic, a reference to a ruthless Jewish lender in Shakespeare's Merchant of Venice. He said in the first hundred days, he's going to let the big banks once again write their own rules. Unchain Wall Street. They're going to put you all back in chains. In Delaware, the largest growth in population is Indian Americans moving from India. You cannot go to a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. So fully, I'm not joking. Once again, the curse of Biden strikes. I've gotten to know you well enough you want me to stop because I'm embarrassed. Pardon me? Every 10 minutes there's a shift in sort of what the strategy is. Again, Who gives a sh- it's a large, very identifiable Somali community. There's an awful lot of driving cabs uh, and, uh, and are friends of mine, for real. I'm not, I'm not being solicitous, I'm being serious. Only 15 Somalis live in the entire state, according to the Census Bureau. And Wilmington cab drivers told CNN they knew of no Somalis driving taxis. The vice president called the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi today to clarify remarks he made last week during a forum at Harvard. And our biggest problem is our allies. I said, Jill, if there's ever a problem, just walk out on the balcony here or walk out, put that double barrel shotgun and fire two blasts outside the house. All this stuff about how different Barack Obama is, they're just not used to somebody really smart. They're just not used to somebody who's really well educated. They just don't know quite how to handle it. Because if he's as smart as Barack is, he mustn't be from my neighborhood. His mom uh, lived in uh, in Long Island for 10 years or so. Uh, God rest her soul. And uh, um, although she's, wait, your mom's still, your mom's still alive as your dad passed. God bless her soul. A man who will be the next president of the United States, Barack America. It happens to be, as Barack says, a three-letter word, jobs. J-O-B-S, jobs. Now is the time to heed the timeless advice from Teddy Roosevelt. Speak softly and carry a big stick. End of quote. I promise you, the president has a big stick. Buy a shotgun. Buy a shotgun. 